Welcome to another episode of My GM with WWE 2K22. All right, we are in week 13, Cleveland, Ohio. We've won the last several shows in a row. I don't think that's going to happen this week, though. Uh, what Triple H wanted was to book our least popular available star for a match. And we put, that was Trent Seven. And we hooked him up with Eric Bischoff, who's the next least popular. I was going to hook him up, Trent, with a more popular guy, but we haven't used Eric Bischoff in a while. So we want to get him at least in the ring. Uh, Brock Lesnar, the new WWE champion, again regained it last week. Uh, he will do a promo. We need to get his stamina up because we promised him a spot in the next pay-per-view, which is SummerSlam. So we need to uh, get him some stamina for that match. Um, calling out China is calling out Alexa Bliss to kind of keep their feud alive. And to give China some stamina where we want to use them in a match during SummerSlam as well. Uh, Mandy Rose requested a rematch with Nia Jax. The first match sucked. Um, but we want to keep her happy since she came over from SmackDown. So we did grant that rematch. And in the main event tonight, we have Eddie Guerrero and Jake Snake Roberts continuing their rivalry. The fans in on uh, Twitter... We're complaining that they hadn't seen them in a while, and they were enjoying it, so we're going to put that in there. It will be at the Capitol Wrestling Center, so we can get the optional bonus. We have the veteran crew tonight, no bonuses, but we do get it for free because we used uh, one of the power cards. Special effects are the top guys, and we get the optional bonus and the advertisement we're doing the superstar signings, which is the top available option, and we get the optional bonus with it, so that's always nice. Uh, nothing going on roster-wise. Power cards. We purchased some uh, injury rehabs because and uh, health spa cards because I think we're going to need them. And we don't need them yet today, but we want to uh, fix a match. Um, Tonight's matchups, we don't really need to fix anything. Uh, the contract negotiations, the table match, we'll save that for the uh, pay-per-view. And we do not have any superstars in training. So, uh, ratings, we are in first place right now. Mandy Rose got her rematch. Brock Lesnar expects to be in the upcoming pay-per-view, which is SummerSlam. So we need to get him rested, and, and I'm scared to put him in the, because uh, SummerSlam is only two weeks away, I'm scared to put him into the uh, the health spa, because that was a two-week thing, and I, I believe it was Hulk Hogan, we lost him in one of the pay-per-views, because, yeah, because <laughs> he was he was getting his nails painted at the health spa, but it took uh, two weeks, and we didn't want that. So here we are, week 13 in Cleveland. This is not a spectacular card. I don't think uh, we're going to win this week, but it's okay. We'll confirm it. We saved some money with the crew. $90,000 show cost. Let's get to it. I guess uh, we're going to watch a match. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess um, we like to spectate one match per week. I guess we can watch the Eddie Guerrero and uh, Jake the Snake Roberts match. So... Here's Trent Seven and Eric Bischoff in a match that no one cares about. If you look at their popularity. One, two, three. And Eric Bischoff gets the win. One and a half stars. They could have done better. Eric Bischoff could have done better. All right, here's your new WWE champion. The stamina went up some, so that's good. We need that. Here's the rematch with Mandy Rose and Nia Jax. I don't really want to watch that one. So we'll simulate it. Nia Jax wins again. And it's a two-star. 
rating. Mediocre. The fans didn't like it again. I, Mandy said that it would. Uh, I would not be disappointed, but so far I am. They have a level one rivalry now, but the fans are just not digging their stuff. Here, China calling out Alexa Bliss. Alexa's ready. She's ready, uh, 100% stamina, so she's ready for a SummerSlam. And uh, we're trying to get China's stamina up so she's not hurt for that. Excellent promo rating, very good. And here's the main event. Jake the Snake Roberts against Eddie Guerrero. We'll go ahead and watch this one. Both have good stamina. Population, uh, popularity are mid-level. We'll see what they can bring to the table. Might be good for SummerSlam, too. But again, only four matches for the pay-per-view, I think. It's Eddie! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! Yes. So many historic memories of Latino Heat. I know our colleague JBL speaks so highly of the respect he holds for Eddie Guerrero, one of the all-time greats. One of the most fiery and passionate superstars in the history of WWE. One of my all-time favorites, Eddie Guerrero, is second to none. The snake is here. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. There is nothing but pure evil in the eyes of Jake the Snake Roberts, a rare superstar who seeks no adoration, only fear. You know, Jake the State Roberts, creator of one of the most devastating moves, the DDT. So sudden, so powerful, that maneuver has brought the Snake much success. Jake the Snake Roberts here, always ready for a fight, both physically and psychologically. This is a superstar as menacing and intimidating as he is talented. And that is what makes Jake the Snake so dangerous. Roberts definitely isn't looking to make anything look pretty here tonight. There's a good story about Jake the Snake Roberts in my wrestling biography that I wrote. Squared Circle, Full Circle. I'm Joe Cool and you're not. Written about indie manager Joe Cool, my my good friend Joe Abel. Uh, it's a great book. It was number one, and uh, he tells a uh, couple of good stories about Jake the Snake Roberts in there. So if you uh, want to learn more about Jake, go ahead and get that book. It was number one when it came out. Squared Circle, Full Circle. Very good book. Of course it is. I wrote it. <laughs> But Joe has a lot of good stories, and uh, he does talk about uh, Jake the Snake Roberts in there. If you get interested, if uh, you might want to pick that up if you're looking for behind-the-scenes stories on Jake the Snake Roberts and a whole bunch of other legends. But back to the action. Jake is not doing so well here. Oh, that was ugly. Uh-oh. 
This is not going to be pretty. Leg breaker. And Roberts is taking control in this match. Now, Latino Heat has got to invent a new bag of tricks here. in the arm. Jake the Snake showing just how menacing he can end it here. He's got him. He might have it. Two, three, no. no. I think we'd see a kick out there. I think I said a minute ago that Jake the Snake was not off to a very good start. I, I meant Eddie Guerrero. Although he's not doing well here. Both men have a finisher. Uh -oh, this Eddie Guerrero has the advantage right now. That could be it. And he lets him out of the submission holds. I have not seen anybody submit yet. Lots of submission holds. They either break it or they let it go. Nobody has submitted to one yet. In the my GM mode. I gotta say that I think that's a little bit of an upset. And they are dancing all the way to the pay window. One and a half stars, disappointing. That's great. Rivalry grows up to level three. So this was just not a good week for us, but we knew that coming in. I think we're going to have a few bad weeks leading up to SummerSlam. They have a full card this week. All right, opener, they killed us. Mid card, they beat us. Main event, they beat us. Not by much in either one of those, but the, their opener killed us, so that's it. That's a loss for us this week, and we expected that, so we're okay with it. Show quality is a C. I don't even know how they gave us that. Match quality, D. Rating 90, fan bonus 4,000, new fans 94,000, fan change, we gained 5,400, all right, so new fans 94,000, fan retention rate 96, okay, so fan change up 5,400, new fans 94,000, all right, so yeah, that's the important one still, fan change. All right, Network gave us $18,000, made $30,000 in ticket sales, $94,000 in ad revenue payout, profit of $51,000. That's because we went with the smaller place. Got to stop doing that. All right, boring show. Yes, we know. All right, China and Bliss are still going good. China called out, knocked it out of the park. Don't really get why Raw wants to push Lesnar. Well, because he's very popular right now. And that's right, he dropped a great promo. Is China going to get a shot at the title? Deserves it, yeah, but she needs to get stamina up. Eddie and Roberts are the reason I watch. Okay, that's good. Weren't Natalia and Charlotte starting a rivalry? They were in one, but they're both tired. Charlotte was very tired. They'll be meeting at SummerSlam. Lesnar took all the airtime. Not the greatest match between Nia and Mandy Rose. Yeah, we know that. All right. We did get the Vito Star card, which we will put to use uh, probably. That means we get to... 
tell SmackDown they cannot use their most popular guy. And I think we're going to use that during SummerSlam. That will definitely give us an advantage. We're number one. Okay. We lost that week, but we're still number one, so that's okay. They had a rating of 92. Fans up 13,000. They made $94,000 budget. Show quality D, match quality C. Okay. 188183. So. I, I don't really understand how this works. We lost that show. Clearly, we lost that show, but we're still in first place, so I guess it's not a week-by-week -week thing. It's an overall thing and where you stand. I wish they would explain that a little clearer. But uh, John Cena is no longer the champion on SmackDown. He dropped the title. All right. So now we're in Toronto. Week 14, one week before SummerSlam. Mandy Rose, thanks for the rematch against Nia. Yeah, thanks for wasting our time giving us two shit matches. I appreciate the opportunity. Glad I joined Raw. It's going well at the moment. Yeah, well. Not really. You put two shit matches on. Hey, Shane, you've seen the work I've been putting in. I know I can do more for the brand. I, I would agree. I'm ready to run a main event match. I know the fans will be excited. It would mean a lot to me in my career. What do you say? Yeah. yeah. I think it's in the next three weeks, right? You can even, may even do it this week. All right, let's see. Yeah, oh no, this week. It's this week. Yeah, I, 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 that's okay. I accepted that knowing that might be a possibility. All right, I don't know who we're going to put her up against, but all right, thanks for joining me for week 13. Don't remember where we were. I think Cleveland. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for all the upcoming content so you don't miss it. Our next session will be week 14 in Toronto, and then after that will be SummerSlam, and we're going to have some good matches for that. Our last pay-per-view was Payback, and it was fantastic. Uh, we, we did everything perfectly and put on a great show. Uh, hopefully that um, we'll be able to continue that for SummerSlam. All right, so thank you for joining me. See you next time. Have a great day.